Screening early is the key and especially intervening early is the key. Uh, you do not always have to intervene with medications, you do not always have to intervene with procedures, uh, but equally important are, are lifestyle interventions um, and those are actually difficult, uh, maybe even more difficult than actually taking medications. Um, and uh, patients need to be uh, supported in their resolve for lifestyle, in, uh, lifestyle intervention um, because uh, those interventions are very effective, equally effective to medications, uh, but they are difficult because they require uh, a lot of resolve, a lot of uh, work on the part of the patient. Most deaths in the world are related to cardiovascular disease and um, the type of cardiovascular disease that is related uh, to uh, highest mortality is uh, coronary artery disease and heart attacks and resulting heart failure. It's of course not unusual anywhere to have coronary artery disease. Uh, but uh, the Caribbean population is uh, burdened with possibly more risk than uh, the, uh, the, the world average. Uh, and there are, I mean, we could go into that, but there are a number of reasons for that. Some of them, many of them, maybe even most of them connected to lifestyle. Uh, some of them are connected to or related to the genetic pool. We are close to the center where we can quickly take them to the cath lab where we have a full flood dedicated cath lab available where we can take him on the time and save them in a timely manner. Time is everything especially when it comes to the heart. I am proud to uh, be a nurse in my um, uh, experience to save the lives basically. When I see that smile that gives me rewarded. <laughs> Good general practice care uh, is where it all starts. So patients need to be screened for risk factors of cardiovascular disease uh, such as hypertension, such as obesity, such as diabetes uh, and those conditions need to be uh, treated uh, as soon as they are diagnosed and of course the, the sooner uh, they are diagnosed the better for the patient and the better the patient prognosis.